Yeah. Good, e good evening. Well, we're uh, running a little late, and we're going to take about a 15 to 20 minute recess. So we're still waiting for uh, one or two aldermen, hopefully, to come in. Uh, we've got a couple of people that are out, out of town this week, and with being only 14, we need 11 for the quorum. So we're going to start out by taking a 15 minute recess. We'll be back. Okay, thank you, uh, public who are watching. We're, we're back. Uh, we had a few people that were out of town and we were able to get back quick. Um, I want to thank them for getting here as quick as they could. We're ready to go. Um, starting tomorrow, we'll have a full roster of 16 again, so this shouldn't happen. Uh, only having 14 as we do now. So we're looking forward to it. We will start out with the quote of the day. Discipline your, disciplining yourself to do what you know is right and important, although difficult, is the high road to pride, self-esteem, and personal satisfaction. Thank you. Can you have the clerk call the roll? Nope. Let's push our little buttons. If you're here, push one. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Here. Turn it on this way now. <laughs> Here. Here. Uh -oh. Is there a power button on these things? <laughs> no, now what are we going to do? Oh, what happened? I don't know. Is there a power button on these things, too? It locked up because we waited. All right, the clerk will call the roll. I'm great. Right. <coughs> Warren. Here. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Hammond. Here. Heidemann. Excuse? Koft. Here. Kittleson. Here. Manachek. Here. Raisler. Excused. Samson. Here. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. Versi. Excused. A quorum. We do, 11. Why don't we have uh, Alderman Joel Hammond lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Um, we're going to move forward number five, four, by Alderman Hammond, authorizing the issuance of awards of the state sale of four point seven nine million of general obligation promissory notes. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, and again, thank you for push your button so they can hear you, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and, and thank you for moving this forward so that uh, Phil can get back uh, home a little earlier. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the resolution be put upon its passage. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, this was approved by finance this afternoon. The sale happened today, um, and uh, I'd, I'd ask that uh, the floor be open to uh, Phil Klassen from Ehlers to explain the end result. Is there any objection to opening the floor to... Sorry, what was your name again? Bill Carson. Bill Hassam. Any objections? Go ahead. Thank you, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Um, prior to tonight's meeting, I handed out two documents for your review. One is a final resolution. I believe you had the draft resolution in your packet already. Uh, the reason for the late lateness of getting this final resolution, and again, we took bids today, compiled that information, and you have those in front of you tonight in the final resolution. Also, uh, in front of you is the sale results. Uh, looks like this. I'm going to spend a few moments going through the sale results of today's issue. Well, I'll start by saying you have great, we have great news for the city. Um, we've, over the last two months, been working with city staff to put together a financing. Uh, this, was, this issue will finance both your 2012 and 13 capital needs. 
The idea here was to take advantage of low interest rates uh, that we are seeing right now and to finance both 12 and 13 capital projects as one issue uh, at this time. You authorized the sale a couple weeks back and since that time uh, we've been working with city staff uh, on putting together uh, a, an official statement. Uh, this was mailed to your house. Everybody should have got a copy of this. This is the document we use to sell the bonds uh, in the marketplace. And I'd like to thank staff uh, who re reacted very quickly to, to turn this around so we could put this uh, out on the street uh, in time for today's meeting. So that was produced. And then also we had a uh, rating uh, conference call with Moody's Investor Service. The city is rated. You have a very strong AA2 rating. Uh, good news, they affirm that rating. If you go into the sale results packet, there is a Moody's report. I apologize, I don't have page numbers, but on page three through seven in the packet that I handed out is the actual rating report. Uh, they've identified a few items I'd like to just briefly mention. Uh, again, affirm AA2, so no change to the rating. Under strengths, what they've identified is that you've seen uh, some job growth in 11, uh, 2011, expected to continue in the near term, uh, that your 2011 uh, financials, which are unaudited, reflect uh, surplus results, uh, which is good news. They to see surplus as opposed to actually drawing funds from the uh, fund balance. And then you've also demonstrated a willingness to make necessary budget adjustments to reflect uh, changes in the reductions in state aid. So, so those are some of the items that they have identified. There's a couple of the challenges for the city, uh, multi-year trend in declining full valuations. No surprise there, you're not alone. That's, that's statewide we see declines in valuation. And then also that uh, your income levels as a city have, have lagged a little bit behind state and national median. So those are a couple of the, the negatives they have identified. There's much more material if you would like to read that on your own. I'm not gonna sit here and read it for you, but bottom line, affirm AA2, which is, which is good news for the city long term. Uh, if you go to back to page one and two, I told you today we took bids on the $4,795,000 general obligation promissory notes. Uh, again, uh, we had eight bids that were received. That's, that's very good. We've been seeing, and we've been in the market with a lot of municipalities in the last uh, three months, uh, refinancing debt and also issuing new bonds. Uh, we've seen the financial uh, industry consolidate even more. We typically see somewhere around five to six bids. We received eight bids today from all over the place. The winning bid was Raymond James slash Morgan Keegan. Uh, they actually merged today. Uh, the, the interest rate on the far right hand column of 1.5443%. So you're borrowing 10 year general obligation notes at a little over 1.5%. Uh, UMB Bank out of Kansas City, uh, 1.5444. Uh, that's how close these two were. Uh, Bosque, uh, which is a subsidiary of the Bank of Oklahoma, uh, was the third bid. If you flip the page, the last five were Bankers Bank out of Madison, Barrett out of Milwaukee, Janie Montgomery Scott of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, FTN Financial Capital Markets out of Memphis, Tennessee, and then Piper Jaffrey out of Kansas. So a lot of interest. Uh, again, the winning bid at 1.5443%. The challenge right now in our industry uh, is that what we see from a lot of these firms is they bid pr what are called premium bids, and that's where they actually give you more money than you request. And then they build that into their rates and they can sell that on the secondary market. And so what we're gonna actually ask you to authorize tonight is a, a lesser amount than what was approved. You approve 4,795, but the actual amount we're gonna ask you to authorize is 4,745 or $50,000 less. We're able to take that premium and actually reduce the amount of the debt that you're issuing. Uh, so that's the, the net effect of, of the bid that was received. And that's kind of reflected if you look at the price that's identified by first and second, it looks higher from Raymond James, but that premium they bid would come off of that. And that's why they were actually the low bid. So what does that all mean? Uh, we came to finance committee uh, with a proposal as to what we thought we were gonna see in the market. 
Um, again, I don't have page numbers, I apologize. But if you go to the fourth page to the end of this document, it says sizing worksheet 2012. Uh, the amount of money being borrowed for the new projects is 4.7 million. When you add in some issuance costs, et cetera, what we, what we identified again was 4,795. What's gonna be approved hopefully tonight is 4,745. We projected rates on the next page uh, that would have resulted in uh, interest costs, principal and interest costs for this issue of five point, a little over 5.3 million, and it ended up coming a little bit better, 5,153,000 or about $148,000 less than what we had identified uh, earlier. So it's always good to come with good news and, and actual costs that come in less than what we had uh, shown you a couple of weeks ago. The last two pages are well, this packet is a uh, one-year trend in the market, in the bond market. On page tw uh, on the second from last page is the one-year trend. You can see a little dip in the end of that chart. Uh, that's what we've really seen in just the last week. We've seen a little bit of a drop in, in the actual uh, bond market. And then the last page is, as I said, the finance. Uh, this is my attempt to make you feel good about borrowing money. Um, it's not 1982 and you're not borrowing money at 12.63%, but rather at 1.54% uh, in that same time period. So, uh, great time to be in the market to borrow money. So that's the results uh, of the sale. A lot of interest, uh, great interest rates, uh, and, re and again, affirmed your, your AA2 uh, rating. Is there any questions from anyone? Thank you very much, Phil. Thank you. Motion and has been made and seconded to approve. All those in favor signify by pushing one. Opposed, number two. else can go wrong tonight. As the lights go out. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Path? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matochek? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Fortunai. There's Can't be 14. Did I say 14? You said 14. I'm sorry. 11 <laughs> eyes. No. I was wishing. Yeah. <laughs> Motion carried. Alderman Decker, approval of the minutes. We need to uh, sign <coughs> Mr. Mayor. Hang, hang on one second. Just hold on a second. <coughs> Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from the previous council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Is there any discussion? Are we going to call the roll or are we going to try the buttons one more time? Oh, we're just we'll call the roll. Wow. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Cut. Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Eleven. Eleven motion carries. Public forum? None. None. <gasps> Resignations? Steve? City Attorney? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, there's a letter to the mayor from Susie Lassard advising that as a result of being elected alder person in the seventh district, she's tendering her resignation from the following committees, which she has served as a citizen, the Board of Review, Redevelopment Authority, Marine and Harbor Committee, and Housing Authority. Uh, effective April 16, 2012, signed by Susie Lassard. And I'll be accepted and filed. We need a motion. Though, but we need a motion from Alderman Decker to do that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file the resignation. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file the resignations. Any discussion? 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Chair, motion carries. <laughs> Just used to saying that. One uh, bit of housekeeping here. Uh, Commissioner Jim Gilligan announced he resigned from the Parking and Transit Commission effective December 23rd of last year. That was never brought to the clerk's attention. So. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file the resignation. It's been Second. moved and seconded to accept and file the resignation. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Mayor's announcements, we'll skip those. We'll save them for tomorrow night. <laughs> hearing, hearing to propose assessments for the water lateral replacement on North 13th Street from Michigan Avenue to south of Huron and north of Huron to Superior Avenue. Motion from Alderman Decker. I'm sorry. First of all, is there anybody here for the hearing that would like to speak? Anybody for the hearing? Anybody for the hearing? Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the hearings. Second. It's been moved and seconded to close the hearings. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. To the consent agenda 3 1 through 3 16. <clears throat> Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs. And pass all resolutions. Second. So we move and seconded to accept all all ROs, all RCs, and pass all the resolutions. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Motion carried. Number four, one through four, four will be referred to the new council committees. Five, one, a resolution by Alderman Bourne authorizing entering into a contract for the 2012, for the 2012 sidewalks projects. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the resolution be put upon its passage and all them board. Under discussion uh, for the sidewalk program this year, uh, the low bidder was uh, Metro Snow Patrol LLC out of Milwaukee, or actually out of West Dallas. Their uh, winning bid was $66,783. We received only one other bid, and we were kind of disappointed to see that we didn't have any contractors from Sheboygan bid on this, but that's the way it was, and uh, this uh, company out of West Dallas is a winning bidder. Thank you, Alderman Bourne. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Um, Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Ah. Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Bourne? Aye. 11 ayes. <coughs> Motion carries. 5 2, a resolution by Alderman Decker amending the composition of the Group Health Insurance and Wellness Committee. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Ka? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Oren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 5 3, a res resolution from Alderman Decker dissolving various committees. Alderman Decker, please push your button so that people can hear you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Ka? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Opportunities here. Bourne? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 
Six one through six three will be referred to the new council. Six four from law and licensing recommending the taxi driver's license number nine one six three of the law and licensing be referred to law and licensing. Oh, I'm sorry. Law and licensing recommended denying taxi license of number 9498 based on failure to accurately review convictions on her application. Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mayor Van Eckert. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted under any discussion. Um, Jack M. Key Jr. We had a few concerns on his application and requested to have him come to law and licensing. Um, he did not show up, so um, at this time we'd like to deny. Is he here this evening? See none, we will uh, have the clerk call the roll. Huh? Hammond? Aye. Uh? Aye. Hiddleston? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 6-5 by law and licensing recommending granting various licenses. Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mary Van Akron. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted <coughs> and adopted. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 6-6, six, six, a report from the Committee of Law and Licensing granting various licensing licenses and referring the balance to the new council. Alderman, I'm sorry, those should be referred. Six seven. No, that needs to be granted. <clears throat> What's that? It does need to be granted and the balance is referred. Okay, the, we need to have a motion, Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mary Van Ecker, and I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the RC accepted and adopted. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Koth? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 6 7 a report of the committee from law and licensing recommending denying taxi driver license 9491 because of failure to adequately review all relevant convictions. Alderman Koth? Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted. Alderman Koth. Uh, Regina Ramirez, uh, same thing. We had a few concerns on her application, invited her to law and licensing, and did not show. 6.7. Uh, Regina Ramirez, I believe, is not here. All right, thank you. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor signify by, st I'm sorry, have the Clerk, call the roll. Matichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 6 8 from Finance Committee recommending transfer of appropriations in the 2012 bu budget appropriations for the 2012 Mead Library budget modifications for Mayor Penn, <coughs> Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I had actually asked that we refer this back to finance. Of the new council. Of the new council. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to refer this back to the finance committee of the new council, Alderman Hanman. Thank you. Um, it came to finance last, uh, uh, our last finance meeting. Um, unfortunately, the uh, library director was unable to be at the meeting, um, so oh. she did not have a chance to, to address the committee and would like such a chance. So I would ask again that it be referred back to finance. Thank you. Any other discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. 6-9, an RC from Public Works entering into a contract for the purchase of two crew, crew cab short box four wheel drive pickups for the, from the motor vehicle department. Alderman Bourne. 
Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, I move to accept and adopt and pass the substitute resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass and adopt and pass the substitute resolution. Alderman Bourne. Under discussion, uh, this was sent back to the Public Works Committee after the last council meeting for further discussion, and the substitute resolution uh, authorized purchasing uh, one pickup truck, and there was a motion made at the meeting by Alderman Koth and seconded by Alderman Heideman that because of that compromise that the vehicle that is currently being driven by the uh, chief administrative officer will be removed or will be sent back to DPW's pool for that truck to be used on a DPW. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Matichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. And Kittleson? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 610 <coughs> committee report from finance recommending repealing and recreating section 29-105 of the 1975 municipal code relating to car allowance for city officers and city employees to change for the allowable reimbursement rate. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the RC be accepted and adopted and the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted and that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, we'll have the clerk call the roll. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Matichek? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 7-1 ordinance is introduced, an ordinance repealing Division 7 of Article 5 of Chapter 2 of the Municipal Code so as to eliminate the Industrial Development Commission. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to pass the ordinance. Second. So we move and seconded to pass the ordinance. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Ham Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. And Sampson? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 7-2 through 7-4 will be referred to committees on the new council. Matters laid over. 8-1, an RO number 408-1112 by the development manager requesting a pollution risk services the contract working for Superfund dredging project in the Sheboygan River to request a variance to the city's noise ordinance. Alderman Decker. Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and approve the request. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file and approve the request. Is there any further discussion? All, All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. A two from Alderman Bourne, Carlson, Matichek authorizing transfer of appropriations in the 2012 budget, establishing appropriations for harbor improvements in Sheboygan River. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Under discussion, that will be going from the general fund unreserved fund balance to the general fund boat facilities contracted services in the amount of $150,000. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none. Roll call. The clerk will call the roll. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. 11 ayes. Thank you. 8-3 by Alderman Kittleson and Koth directing public hearing in connection with the changes of city zoning of property located at 1305 St. Clair Avenue. That will lie over to the new council. 8-4, general ordinance from Alderman Decker, Alderman Decker 
amending the general ordinance number 261112 passed by council on September 12th in order to update the polling locations for 26 wards rel relating to the section 38-3 in the municipal code regarding wards and automatic seats. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the ordinance. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the general ordinance. Any discuss? Any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Um, let's see here. Van, uh, let's see, Vanderbilt. Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Cup? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Samson? Aye. And Van Akron? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 9-1 through 9-3 uh, under other matters will be referred to the new council. 9-4, an ordinance providing the exception for the city noise, noise ordinance for environmental remediation activities as part of the Sheboygan River and Harbor Superfund projects. Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I'll make a motion that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carries. 9-5, an ordinance repealing and recreating Division 11 of Article 5 of Chapter 2 of the Municipal <coughs> Code so as to change the Board of Forestry Park and Forestry Commissioners to the Board of Marina Park and Forestry Commissioners. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the ordinance. Second. Been moved and seconded to pass the general ordinance. Or the ordinance, I'm sorry. Any further discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Bourne? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 9-6, an ordinance repealing and recreating various provisions of Chapter 26 of the Municipal Code so as to combine the Board of Electrical Examiners and Heating Examiners into a new Board of Electrical and Heating Examiners. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the ordinance. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the ordinance. Any further discussion? The clerk will call the roll. Decker? Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hammond? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manichek? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 11 ayes. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 9-7, ordinance repealing section 2-410 of the Municipal Code so as to dissolve the Joint Municipal Court Advisory Committee. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the ordinance. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the ordinance. Is there any other discussion? Just a comment. City Attorney. Uh, just so you're aware, uh, by contract, this advisory committee is uh, created uh, in our contract with the Village of Kohler when we created the, uh, the Joint Municipal Court. So if you look at Section 2 of the ordinance, it says uh, it be in effect from and after its passage and publication and amendment by the parties of the agreement between the city and the village so as to delete the provisions relating to the Joint Municipal Court Advisory Committee. So uh, it will require both parties to sign the agreement to uh, remove that from the contract uh, for this ordinance to take effect. Thank you. Um, just so the alderman know, I did contact Kohler, uh, the police chief and one of the village um, out there and, and they're going to contact us and we'll have some kind of agreement that if there is a problem in the future that uh, we'd authorize people from each of the uh, uh, two municipalities to sit down and work that out. And if it can't come to agreement, we would reform the committee at that time. But it hasn't met since the formation of the uh, committee for quite a while. So, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, uh, Mayor. As far as the uh, financial aspects of the municipal code, I know finance in the 
past has kind of monitored an annual report from the municipal court and kind of looked at the financials. Is that is that going to is the plan for that to continue? Thank you. Yes, um, that was adopted by ordinance um, or a resolution a while back that the city would would look after that, and that still is in effect. Thank you. Any other questions? Seeing none, we'll have the clerk call the roll. Hammond. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichak. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. And Decker. Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 9-8 will be referred to the new council, public protection and safety. 9-9, nine, nine, a resolution, resolution authorizing appropriate city officials to execute an agreement to the agreement of the village of Kohler to operation of the municipal court. Alderman Decker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, we'll have the <coughs> clerk call the roll. Hammond. Aye. Cott. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Manichek. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Oren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. And Hammond. Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 910 uh, will be referred to public protection and safety of the new council. 911, a ordinance from Alderman Kittleson, Decker, Sampson, Carlson, and Van Akron repealing and recreating section 70-256 of the municipal code to permit the use of paintball guns within the city limited in limited circumstances. Alderman Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I would uh, uh, move that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion? Under Alderman discussion, uh, Mayor, uh, there were three uh, um, items added to section one of this ordinance to allow uh, for this activity to take place in Sheboygan. So when, this, when people do want to operate uh, paintball guns within the city, uh, there are some rules that they must follow. We added that to the ordinance. Thank you, Alderman Kittleson. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. <coughs> Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Warren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 11 ayes. Motion carried. 9-11, an ordinance by Alderman, I'm sorry, before before we adjourn, we're going to adjourn, but before we, other, other matters, oh, other sorry. matters, sorry. Steve? Uh, 9.12 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. Thank you. I'll lie over to the new council for while I'm licensing. 9.13 is a resolution authorizing signing and easement for a mini storm sewer to be constructed in portions of uh, some private property. That will go to public works of the new council. 9.14 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from the Yacht Club requesting that the city act as organizing authority under the current ordinances and approve the staging of a fireworks display for Sheboygan Harbor Fest as well as providing routine city services to host such an event with Sheboygan Harbor Fest 2012, Inc. That will go to public protection and safety of the new council. Okay, before we adjourn, um, we have three aldermen tonight that are here that are, will not be with us after tonight. Um, they're not, they will be with us in the city, just not here on the council. <laughs> uh, I want to thank uh, Alderman Joel Hammond uh, Kevin Sampson and Alderman Gene Kittleson for the years of service. Um, yeah, I know this is a tough job and uh, sometimes can be very enjoyable, but sometimes can be very nerve wracking and you don't get enough thank yous for the job you've done. So uh, I want to thank you in, and um, thank you for the jobs that you've done in serving the city as, as you have. Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. I'd like to second that, and uh, a special thank you to Alder, Alder Person Kittleson, who I think has uh, served eight years, and uh, I've seen a lot of aldermen since I've been up here the last six years, and not that we don't all work hard, but I think Gene especially 
has uh, uh, been above and beyond the call of duty, not only the committees that she served on, but sitting in on a lot of different committees. So I just want to thank Jean for her service. Thank, thank you, you Alderman Bourne. Any of the three, three council people would like to say something? Yes. Alderman Kittleson. I would. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor, um, Councilmen. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege uh, to serve the citizens of the 3rd District, now 5th District of the City of Sheboygan, as well as serving the folks in the entire city. Um, as Alderman, being available and responsive to the concerns and needs of the people has always been my number one priority. I've prided myself on always giving them the best customer service that I possibly could. I've made many friends in the district and I met many people I would have not had the opportunity to meet had I not done this job. And those people who faithfully watch the Common Council meetings know who I am speaking about. And I humbly thank you for all of your support. Here on the council floor, I've learned so much about how our city operates and I've always tried to make the very best decisions that I could based on what was best for everyone concerned, not just a few. Looking back on my voting record, I, I am proud of what has been accomplished in the city. A new police station, municipal court, a health and wellness committee where the city has won our bike and walk to work week challenge with the county and the school district for four years in a row now. And uh, most recently as chairman of the city county shared services committee through hard work by all, um, we are taking steps forward to making combined dispatch a reality. So here at city hall, I wish to thank all of our department heads and our, our city workers for their help and support. As chairman of the Public Protection and Safety Committee, I've had the privilege of working with many of our police and fire department officials, our planning and inspection department, our legal department. Uh, these people have all been wonderful to work with, very supportive and always there to advise us and answer questions and concerns when they arose. I can't say enough about the fine men and women who are so dedicated to the city of Sheboygan and work so hard to make good things happen in our city. And I thank all of you. And to my colleagues here on the council floor, I say thank you, especially to those aldermen I've worked with on so many committees. Um, this past year, we've had some difficult issues to deal with and some very tough decisions to make. But in the end, the important thing is that we made it through all of them. And I wish all of you good luck and much success as you go forward in the coming council year. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Kittleson. <laughs> Alderman Sampson or Hammond, have anything to say? Okay. Well, let's give them a round of applause for your service. Okay, this has been a rough night, and now it is Move to adjourn. time to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded by Alderman Decker and Hammond to adjourn. Sign of die. All, uh, all the roll, or all, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned. <laughs>